All right, what's going on guys? I'm gonna give you four TRX or blast strap exercises that you can do to increase your upper back strength and core strength. Let's get into it. All right, so when it comes down to body weight type exercises, you want to make sure if you're at your house or you can go to a park or even at your own gym that you have some type of TRX or blast straps or anything that you can do from a suspension-based training system to increase your strength in the upper body. You can also use it for the lower body, but this is a really good way to utilize your own body weight and the gravitational force to increase your strength output and hypertrophy. So the first one that we're gonna do is a row to a T out. And with this exercise, we're gonna increase the strength of the upper back, right? So the muscles of the lats, the traps, the rhomboids, the rear delts, you're gonna hit everything here, right? So this is really good, not just from a strengthening perspective, but also this is, can be good to help you with range of motion, and it could be actually a good tool to use for corrective exercises as well. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead, take the straps, we're gonna come down, get to a range that you can. The good thing about the blast straps is if you need to walk up, makes it a little easier. As you walk down, right, you get a little bit more parallel to the ground, that makes it a little bit more difficult. So as you come up, we can change up that tension, make it a little easier. I'm gonna go ahead and pull with the hands neutral. As I go to row, I'm gonna get into this position and then I'm gonna tee out my arms. So I'm gonna push my arms away from my body and go into a T position. We're gonna keep tension on the back. We're gonna make sure we're maintaining position, we're not falling over. Then from there, you're gonna go right back to a position where you started from, keeping the glutes on, abs on tight. You can flex the toes too as well. If you need to get more traction, you can put your feet down. Make sure that your glutes are on and you're not losing it here. So your entire posterior chain is activated. So we're pulling, teeing up, holding position, coming down, controlled in the eccentric. Pull, tee, back down. For this, you wanna do about two to three sets. You can do anywhere from five repetitions to 10 repetitions, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. If this is for a warm up or an activation drill, before you go and do a bench press or any type of pressing or pulling motions, you can do that. If it's for the exercise alone and you're trying to improve on strength, hypertrophy, do 10 to 12 reps. Make sure you're getting adequate amount of sets and volume too as well. So the next one, we're gonna go into a face pull. So we're gonna hit the rear delts, you're gonna hit the rhomboids, you're gonna hit the traps. From there, you're gonna go ahead and press straight up. So we're gonna hit mid trap as you press straight up. We're gonna maintain that position and try not to get too flex forward. So pull, elbows at a 90. We're gonna externally rotate the shoulders and then press into a Y position. So we're here, you're pulling pressing again overcoming that gravitational pull you're maintaining tension with the body and also making sure that everything is aligned you're stacking the bones as you go to rotate and press up glutes on we're gonna face pull it up 90 degree angle rotate and then press and then you come back pull rotate press eccentrically loading coming down keeping the arm straight pull press slow back down pull press it's all one motion there pull press as you get better you start to increase the dynamic capabilities you go faster you can use it for power too as well or if you slow down that process you can really put more emphasis on building muscle so the next one what we're going to do is a pull to a rotational twist so you're going to hit the muscles of the oblique sling anterior and posterior obliques you're also going to get a little bit of adductor or internal rotators you're going to hit the ql and then we're also obviously getting pulling motion so we're getting the back too as well this one you're going to go ahead and spread the feet out just a little bit more so that you can rotate the backside leg. From here, I'm gonna take the, the TRX or blast straps, whatever you have. You're gonna pull close to the body, so it's gonna be here, right, as opposed to spreading the hands out. So we're pulling first, we pull, then we rotate the leg and twist to press. Coming back, other side. So the next one and last one is gonna be a split stance rotational row. So we're only gonna use one arm, so all we have to do is switch this up. We're gonna go ahead and feed one handle through the other and then pull, make sure it's tight. You're gonna go ahead and split the stance where your toe is in line with the front heel. From there, you're gonna go ahead and dip down, drop the hips, and then lengthen out the arm. So the hips are still engaged. You're gonna rotate the body, but don't rotate the feet out. So now we're disassociating the hips from the spine. We're gonna rotate the body, reach, keeping everything tight here. The adductors are on on the backside. So as I go to rotate and reach up, 
we're gonna pull, squeeze the backside glute into hip extension, and then pull through. We reach, pull through. And again, make sure that you're getting in a hip extension, you're driving off the backside leg, pulling with the lat and reaching with the opposite arm. Back down, rotate, use the obliques. From here, you're gonna drive the hip through, pull and reach. Come down, rotate, keep the knees in line, feet are in line, rotate and reach. Backside glute is engaged, we're locking out the hip. So remember, this isn't the end all be all of TRX training or blast strap training. This is something that I like to utilize with my fighters and my athletes to enhance not just strength, but also functionality, movement, mobility, and just core control. So check it out. If you like it, let me know. Hit the comments down below, hit the like button. If you wanna train something similar to this, check out all of my programs down below. Link is in the description. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification, all that good stuff. I'll see you again next time, peace.